Hello, I'm Jared Dovey, and uh, this is my exhibition uh, called No Ball, which I've put on to coincide with the uh, grand final in Melbourne. Um, it's an it's a exhibition of football uh, drawings, which I did a fair while ago, which I just thought had a really natural fit with the gym that they're actually being exhibited inside of. You have hung on to these works since the turn of the century. Why have you put them out now? <laughs> Be because the, um, the gym's just been taken over by a new owner and he was setting it all up and we'd become good friends. And I was in here one day and I looked at the place and I thought, what a natural fit for my, for my works to be put up in, in this place. I've never actually been able to find a place where I felt they'd be comfortable before. You wouldn't expect a gym to have artwork in it. How have you found people have responded? It's been really nice, actually. There's been a lot of people making comments. There's been a lot of quiet looking, but no comments. But then I hear stuff later on. So I think it's been very successful in, in this environment. It's really nice to get art out into different community environments. I'm not particularly fond of galleries. I've exhibited in galleries a lot, but I, I always come away from it feeling a bit cold. I'm not feeling that way with this at all. Many will be surprised that you didn't include the balls, rather an integral part of the game, in any of your artworks. What made you drop that icon? Um, I've removed the ball consciously um, I, because the works are not necessarily about football. Football is a vehicle that I've used to talk really about the human condition. I did these works in a period of a great health stress. I was actually going through a really serious period of illness, and um, which went on for a number of years. And I, I started becoming a bit fixated on watching the footy because I had nothing else to do. And um, I started following one particular team and one particular group of players. And I became quite obsessed with these people as people, because of my fra fragility, I think, I started seeing the efforts in the actual people who were playing rather than the success of the, the sports hero. I was really interested in them as people. You've already gone halfway to answering my next question. What did you learn about the game through painting it? I've also got a background in dance. When I was a young fellow, I was a, I was a um, contemporary ballet dancer. and. Um, I made a really strong connection between the effort and the athleticism of dance and what I was seeing on the field. So I think I learnt that. I also learnt that Australian rules football is a fantastic game. Masks make a few appearances. I noticed them at least two of your works. I hate to ask, but why? <laughs> well, masks are about two things. They're about thinking that you're hiding, but they're also a very revealing thing. If you put on a mask, I've done a master's degree in mask theatre. If you put on a mask, um, it has an uncanny ability to make you quite vulnerable and whatever you do becomes heightened if you've got a mask hiding your face. People think they're hiding, but they're actually much more visible. I think that happens on the football field in some ways. I think that the players get to a point where they think they're not being seen but in fact, everything they do is being scrutinised to the nth degree. Even if they're playing just in community football, that happens as well. And finally, are you excited for the final? <laughs> I hope the Tigers win, I really do. <laughs> It'll be fantastic.